So I wanted to talk to you guys uh, a little bit about what we've been fighting uh, around the country, but mostly I want to talk to you about my love affair with uh, Campaign for Liberty. I love Campaign for Liberty. You see, I was just a nobody. I was just somebody who was at home who was pissed off of what my country was doing. And luckily, I got invited to a one-day school. Uh, I went down to Galveston, Texas, and uh, got to learn the tools and the tactics to be effective in politics. Before that, I was just some crazy Ron Paul guy running around Arizona, hanging signs everywhere I could. But I wanted to be more effective. I actually wanted to change my local area. I wanted to change what my government was doing. I wanted to stop them from spending my money, from violating our Constitution, from doing all the horrible things that big government does. So I went to Campaign for Liberty, and I joined, and I went to their instructions and their schools. And I sat in those schools, and I diligently took notes, and I wrote down everything that I could so that I could be effective in politics. And then I went home, and boy, did I start having fun. <laughs> I started removing politicians from office, started getting them kicked out, started getting people who believed in liberty and who believed in the Constitution to start running for office, getting elected, filing our bills for us. But what most people don't understand is most of the stuff that we do have nothing to do with getting bills passed. It's really about killing bills. Nobody ever hears those great, wonderful stories about how we've stopped them from increasing your taxes, stopped them from passing on all these big government spending packages to us who can no longer afford it. The economy was going downhill. Everything was going to hell in a handbasket, and I was mad, and I needed something to do about it. So I took that class. You guys have the opportunity tomorrow to take this class. I would suggest that if you want to learn to be effective in politics, you come, you take that class, and then you go home and you start swinging that bat at all those politicians. Watch their heads roll and watch Champions of Liberty get elected to office and see how things change in your state. Now, what I did was I went home and I was mad about these unconstitutional photo radar cameras. I knew they were violating the 4th, the 5th the 6th, the 7th, the 14th Amendment to the Constitution. And I knew they were lying to us, telling us it was all about safety. I should have known when they said it's for the children. <laughs> but, so I took the tools that I learned from this class and I ran around my state and I started putting them to use. And cameras started coming down. They started ripping them down. And then I ran outside of Arizona, and I went to Texas with my friend Byron. And me and him got together, and we started fighting them in Texas. And they started coming down to Texas. Then I went to Ohio and to Florida, and I now travel to about two cities a week. And I get to teach people the tools that they taught me. And now those cameras are coming down in their states. We're now up to 16 states, and I think by next week we'll have our 17th state because New Jersey's cameras are coming down. If you guys want to be effective in politics, go and learn how to avoid the mistakes that I made. Because the truth is, all I did was make mistakes. <laughs> That's all I did. I thought I could be nice to the politicians. I thought I could educate them. If I was friends with these politicians, they would do what I wanted. If I could just tell them what was wrong with the system, then they would take them down and stop violating our Constitution and stop stealing our money, right? Right? No, it doesn't work that way. You have to make them afraid of you. You have to make them fear that you are going to take their job away. And once you get to that point, you'll be like me. I walk into the Arizona Capitol and most of the politicians, they shake my hand like this. <laughs> like they're shaking hands with a rattlesnake. Why would they do that? Because we have removed so many of their friends from office. They're afraid that I'm going to come and get them next. But the best part about it is we now have champions of liberty who are in there, who are elected into these offices, who are fighting for us now, who are filing bills for us, who are repealing laws for us. Over the last seven years that we've been doing this with Campaign for Liberty, we've changed the state of Arizona completely. It's no longer all about big government, more spending, more taxes. 
Now our politicians are screaming for lower taxes. They're screaming to get government out of our lives. They are championing the message of liberty for us. And let me tell you, I've never had more fun in my whole life. Every day I wake up, I jump out of bed. I'm ready to go. I get my emails open and I get to see what battle we have next. And I have more fun doing it than I've ever had in my whole life. I think it's the fountain of youth. I'm younger and better looking than when I started. <laughs> my marriage is more happy than it's ever been. I absolutely adore my wife. And I think it's because I'm changing things in politics. It's the fountain of youth. Well, that and maybe because I bathe in the blood of politicians. <laughs> <coughs> If a dumb old schmuck like me can do it, I know the people sitting in this room can do it. You guys have way more intelligence, way more talent, way more resources than me and a couple of guys in my garage ever had. That's how we were able to start this. A few people sitting around a table at my house have been able to change Arizona drastically. We're ripping down those photo radar cameras. We changed Arizona to a constitutional carry state. Now my wife, yes. Now my wife who works late in the office by herself every night can carry a gun in her purse and she doesn't need the government's permission, the government's training, any of that, anybody any law-abiding citizen in the state of Arizona can carry a gun concealed without the government's permission. She can now defend herself while I'm out traveling across the country. This is important to me. I believe in this. I'm wholeheartedly in, in, all in for it. You should be able to defend yourself. But if you don't know how to do it, how are you going to change it? How do you know your rights are being stolen if you don't even know what they are? I travel all around the country asking people, why don't you tell me what this amendment to the Constitution says? They don't know. Most people have never even read it. See, I treat my constitutional rights like they're a pile of gold. And ain't nobody going to take them from me. But how do you know they're taking them from you if you don't even know what they are? I would encourage you people to come and have as much fun as I do because this stuff is fun. Getting rid of bad politicians is the most fun I've ever had. It's like a roller coaster at Disneyland all day long. If you're a little sick in the head like me, because <laughs> I'm a little sick in the head, <laughs> I enjoy the pain of politicians. <laughs> I enjoy inflicting pain on politicians. They've been inflicting pain on us. They're stealing our money. <laughs> Come and learn. If you can't make it to the class tomorrow, contact some campaign, campaign for Liberty coordinator and ask them to bring the school to your town. We'll come. We'll train you and your group how to be effective in politics. And I'll teach you all the stupid mistakes that I've done. They're really funny. How many of you in this class have taken my class before? Am I lying? Are they fun? Very funny. Very funny. All the mistakes I get to tell you about that I screwed up, messed up, didn't do it right, you'll enjoy. <laughs> enjoy my pain. <laughs> Become sick in the head like me. Demand more from your politicians. It's a lot of fun to do. Now, uh, Matt told you that uh, we've had the cameras banned in 16 states. That's not all me. That's all you guys. All the people who've taken our classes from us, who've stayed in their area and decided to change it themselves. I can't come to your town and change it to a liberty movement. You've got to do that. But I'm here to tell you, you will have fun doing it. I giggle and laugh all day long. <laughs> I do. Now tomorrow I'm going to be teaching part of that class. And I get to teach you the most fun part. The thing that we call street theater. I'm going to teach you guys how to have fun with these politicians. I call it the Mackinac campaign. 
We're going to go and mock these politicians and we're going to awe the voters and we're going to get them kicked out of office because most of them deserve it. Hmm. Now, it's not all just about getting rid of politicians. That's just my favorite part. <laughs> I like getting rid of bad politicians. But it really is about getting new people in. Maybe it's you that have to run for office. Maybe it's one of your buddies that you talk into doing it, who believes in liberty as well. You guys need these tools. You can change anything you want if you have the right tools and tactics. There's nothing I don't believe that you guys can't change. I was tired of banging my head against the wall. I was tired of screaming and yelling at the TV. My wife was tired of me yelling and screaming at the TV. <laughs> she had finally said, that's it, no more. Let's turn the TV off, you're too crazy. <laughs> we tried that for a while, but then a certain election came along. <laughs> I started watching again. <laughs> started yelling and screaming at the TV again. My wife said to me, don't just yell at the TV. Why don't you go down to the Republican Party and yell at them? They're the ones you're mad at. I said, okay, maybe I will. So I went to my first, I'd always been registered Republican since the day I turned 18. But I never really did anything with it. I didn't know any better. So I went to my first Republican meeting and I sat all the way in the back. And I said, nothing. I was too scared. Too intimidated by those curmudgeon -y old people who were up there talking about, you know, we need more money spent on roads and we need more health care and we need to spend more talking about things that Republicans shouldn't be talking about at all. But with the right tools and tactics, we were able to change that mentality. Now every politician is talking about limited government. Every politician in Arizona is talking about the Constitution. Every politician is talking about it. All we have to do is hold their feet to the fire and make them do it the right way. You can do that, and it's actually a lot easier than you think. I see it every single week. Every single week, somebody who takes our class goes in, changes something, gets their bill filed, kills some tax increase, kills some bond, bond override. You all know what bonds are, right? They are taxes. They just came up with a new name, but they're actually worse than taxes because they're taxes with interest. And most people don't even realize that. We've killed hundreds of millions. To this point, we did a rough general math thing on just on canceled photo radar contracts. And right now we're up to about $4 billion that we've saved the American citizens for in their own pockets that is no longer going to the politicians. Yeah. That means something. $4 billion is a lot of money. And they're violating your constitutional right all while putting you in danger while doing it because these cameras increase accidents. But they want to keep lying to us and telling us it's all, oh, it's for the children. I got mad, started yelling at the TV, went and said, I'm going to do something about it. You can do these things too, and you can have fun doing it. I would encourage all of you, come to the class tomorrow at 9. Uh... Kirk came up to me and said that anybody who signs up for the class is going to be getting these Ron Paul Revolution mugs. <laughs> See, this is the bait. Come. <laughs> I guarantee you, we're going to fill it with a lot of fun for you. You're going to have a blast. You're going to learn how to avoid every mistake that I made. Or maybe the mistakes that you've been making. And you're going to become effective. And you're going to become feared. And you're going to become respected. And you're going to start changing things in your area. And who knows? Maybe you'll start running around the country like me, changing everything. <coughs> you can have fun. <coughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get over a cough. You can have fun doing this. You can have a great time. You can use your sense of humor. If you want to see how I use my sense of humor and all the fun videos and all the tarring and feathering of the photo radar vans and the, the crazy antics that we've done, 
to get this message across, come and learn it from us tomorrow. It will change your life. It changed mine. I now have fun every day. They always laugh at me because I say every day is like Christmas. It's the truth. I wake up excited every day. Every day my feet hit the ground, I'm excited because I know I'm going to go punish a politician. There is nothing more fun than that. Okay, so I'm, I'm starting to run out of time here. I, I, uh, I get the, uh, the privilege to introduce the next speaker to you. His name is uh, Tony DeMott. And the truth of the matter is, is Tony is one of my heroes. I love what Tony has done. He took the tools and the tactics just like I did, and he ran around Michigan changing everything. When they tried to bring the photo radar cameras to Michigan, Tony had it dead in a week. He had that politician on TV saying, I don't know why I filed that bill. That was ridiculous. I'm going to pull that. <laughs> Tony has managed to do something that I thought was impossible. He took the strongest union stronghold in the country, Michigan, and he changed it to a right-to-work state. <laughs> to me, that is the biggest thing I've ever seen. To me, it was the most exciting thing. It let me know that there's nothing that can't be accomplished with the right tools, the right training, and the right people in there. We need more of you. I want you to become my hero. I really do. The only way that's going to happen is if you know how to get it done. Come and learn from Tony. Come and learn from me on how to get this stuff done. Thank you, guys. Have fun.